Hello, this is Dr. Taft with Foot and Ankle Associates. One of the very common complaints people come into the office with is for an ingrown toenail. So after you know patient presents, we take a look at the toe and we determine, yep, it's an ingrown toenail. We'll oftentimes then decide and discuss the treatment options. And one of the treatment options, which is often utilized is a procedure that we do in the office to remove part or sometimes even the entire toenail. And that procedure then also typically involves a chemical to remove the offending piece of nail permanently so that it never comes back. Because oftentimes if you remove a piece of nail and you allow it to grow back, people come back with the same issue six or seven or eight months later. So we'll do this procedure to cauterize the root so it never comes back again. So naturally in this day and age, if people see an ingrown toenail, they start Googling and YouTubing you know, videos, which are obviously plentiful. So I thought I would post a video of my own of a procedure that we did in the office, uh, but I would also you know, give a little description of what it is that we're doing and why we're doing it, just so that people um, can have maybe a little bit better of an understanding of what's, of what's actually happening and why we're doing it. Now, some people may have absolutely no care in the world and, and a lot of people don't wanna know anything that's going on. Uh, so obviously this video wouldn't be for you, but certainly if anyone does have an interest in the procedure, um, and would like to know a little bit more about how we're doing it, uh, then th this is something you can check out. Uh, again, this is a little bit of a, a disclosure here that, um, you know, it's, I'm not gonna say it's graphic, but you know, there's a little bit of blood, you know, this is certainly not something of the weak stomach. Um, but again, if, if you're uh, interested and would like to take a look, then um, go ahead and, and keep on watching. Thanks again. All right, so here we are. The toe has been anesthetized. We've numbed it up with some Novocaine and we've prepped it so it looks brown because it's betadine. Um, and then obviously the, the patient is numb. So at this point, you don't feel anything. It's just usually a little pull in a, pull in a tug or even just, just pressure. So nothing painful. So we're using a little elevator here to actually lift the nail from the underlying nail bed. And obviously this patient's pain is in that right side of the toenail where it's digging into the side of the skin. So we're just lifting that right side of the nail just to release it from the underlying nail bed. And we're taking it all the way back um, to the front part of the nail where the nail root is. So that nail root actually extends three or four millimeters beyond the skin. So then this is a little tool that we use to cut down the side of the nail. And we actually get underneath the skin to the base of the nail root. And then once the nail has been cut, this is a little hemostat that grabs out the piece of nail. And there it is. And underneath it is just uh, the nail bed, with some dead skin there we just took out. Then we're just kind of inspecting the area to make sure that uh, um, the, all the nail that we need to get out is out all the way to the base. That looks pretty good. And as you can see, there's not a lot of bleeding. Again, just again, checking and inspecting to make sure everything looks good. And at this point, we are going to apply a tourniquet. So the chemical that we use to kill the root works best when there isn't any bleeding. It works best in a dry environment. So as you can see, there wasn't a lot of bleeding, but whatever little bleeding there was, we'll control here with this little tourniquet that will wrap around the toe temporarily. And now you can see that no bleeding, nice and dry. And we'll take a little cotton swab and just clean it out. Soak up any of the little blood that's in that corner. Again, make sure it's kind of a nice dry area. And then I use a little antibiotic 
ointment to just cover the skin. It helps, I think it helps to protect the skin from any of the chemical that you know may um, roll over onto the skin. And then what we did is I put a little bit of the chemical, which is called phenol, which is just a mild acid. You put some on the cotton tip and we're just spinning the Q-tip um, beneath the skin where the root is. And this is just cauterizing the nail root. Uh, the chemical is creating a mild burn, a mild chemical burn, which is killing the root. And this is ultimately what's going to prevent that little piece of nail that we took out from ever growing back. There have been some studies looking at how much phenol needs to be applied, how long the chemical needs to be in contact with the root to kill enough of the root so it doesn't grow back. Depending on who you read, it can be anywhere from 30 seconds of application to, to a minute. I usually do about 10 second um, treatments about um, for three times. So three 10 second applications and uh, I've been doing this for a while and I've, I've had good success so I think this is the third swab you can kind of look down in there once you take the swab out and the phenol actually causes the tissue to look white so you can kind of see that you've been able to cover the area that you need to just by the, the white discoloration and then we're all done so we took the tourniquet off and at this point uh, we usually will flush the area out so the q-tip now is just got some saline on it and we're just going in there and just rinsing off the flushing out what's left of the phenol And then we give the toe a good wash, getting rid of the betadine tan. And then we'll apply some antibiotic ointment, some gauze and a self-adhesive wrap. And that bandage will be in place uh, until the following day. Patients are given instructions on how to care for the toe, which typically involves a daily dressing change for about two weeks. No activity or shoe gear restrictions uh, following the procedure. Um, the Novocaine typically lasts for four to six hours. I usually tell patients that once it wears off, a little bit of soreness, but usually nothing, a little Tylenol or Motrin wouldn't take care of if you, you, you end up having to take anything. I, I just put a little bit more of the antibiotic ointment on there and. Again, we'll wrap it up. Now, I also tell patients that that corner of the toe where the chemical was placed um, can sometimes be a little red, a little swollen. And sometimes there can be some drainage from that corner. And the drainage oftentimes is confused with uh, as pus. People think that it looks yellowishy, and it is, but it's more the color from the chemical itself and not so much from any sort of infection. But that redness, swelling, and drainage can last sometimes up to two weeks and so that's why we encourage the dressing changes for about two weeks. Uh, so that was it. Um, again, any questions about uh, the procedure, questions about whether or not you have an ingrown toenail or not, um, please don't hesitate to give our office a call. Uh, we'd be more than happy to answer any questions or come on in and have us take a look and we can help that way as well. Thanks again.